Welcome to Good Morning KU. I'm Mary Kate Baker. And I'm Caroline Johnson. Okay, so last night we had a women's game, and you said you were actually there because of natural ties? Yep. Okay, and actually tell me a little bit more about that, because I really don't... Um, I've done natural ties for the past four years now because I'm in a Greek house, and uh, it's through the Greek community, just mm -hmm. a good way to get hours. Mm -hmm. So I've had the same buddy for three years now, and we're pretty close, and sometimes we go out for ice cream and Great. set up the events if we don't want to do that. But last night was the women's game. So. Okay, and that's what you guys did. You guys went to the yeah. women's game together. Okay, so f so you guys saw the game. Yeah. Uh, a bummer. We played K-State for the Sunflower Showdown. Didn't win, but the girls put up a good fight. It was kind of a, a game of a cat and mouse, yeah. I thought, for a lot of it. But Poor KU. I know, I know. I was going to say we should have stormed the court if we won, but didn't. <laughs> no, uh, so speaking of games, this Saturday we have a throwback game. It's 60 years in Allen Fieldhouse. So they're doing a whole kind of 50s themed uh, game on Saturday against uh, Texas. So I'm kind of excited. Are you going to be able to go to the game? Well, my parents are going, but I, of course, don't get to go. Mm -hmm. um, the game's at like 4. Yeah, tip off at so 4. So I'm sure I'll be Silver at the bar somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, uh -huh. we we wanted to start everybody to dress up in their best 50s. So make sure you get the word out. We thought, yeah, everyone dress for your best sock hop, just because the players are going to be get a free drink. Up maybe play some 50s to pregame with, uh -huh. you know. Uh, all the players are going to be in their throwback kind of retro gear. Dancers are going to be doing the same. So, you know, Amos, all the spirit squad will be. Yes, so I'm kind of nervous. Those are some long skirts and uh, look like thick sweater vests. So it might be a little <laughs> hot in Allen with, you know, air, no air conditioning. Uh, but that'll be a fun game. It'll be that. a fun game. And, you know, Texas, it's going to be a good game no matter what. So make sure you uh, dress in your throwback. All right. <laughs> and once we're back, we're going to have Omar Rana, the president of Delta Lambda Phi, joining us for an interview. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. So joining us now, we have President uh, of Delta Lambda Phi. We have, it's Omar Rana. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. He didn't really know he was going to be on the show today. <laughs> I kind of just pulled him off uh, the street of the union. <laughs> so what was, I saw some commotion going on. What yeah. Was it? Okay. So KU Endowment is doing a competition called Ever Onward. It's their first year doing it. They are, um, having student groups apply and the top 10 that get selected, uh, my group was one of them that was selected, they get to participate in a fundraising competition. Um, it is um, gonna be from now until the last week of April um, and whichever group gets the most donors will get a special prize. Um, so my group Delta Lambda Phi, we're a social fraternity and IFC for gay, bisexual, and progressive men and we're raising money um, hopefully to help fund, you know, managing operations and future philanthropy events. Our philanthropy is the Trevor Project, so. Great, okay, so how did you kind of go about for applying for this? Um, it was, there was an application online. Um, I just applied and I let them know who we are, who, what we're about, what we support, and that it just went from there. Great, so. and how long are you guys gonna be in the union today? Um, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Well, fabulous. So make sure you come by the Union, check out their booths, donate a little bit of money. Thank you for joining us, Thank Omar. Thank you. Stay tuned. So much. We'll have the news when you get back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Travis Calvin. And I'm Jia Wan. This is your Thursday Good Morning KU News update. You finally have a chance to feel that you've gone to space. According to the USA Today, more than 600 vintage NASA pictures are set to go up for action in London. These pictures include the very first photographs from space as well as from the Neil Armstrong's private photos. The collection could reach up to $1 million. 
A Los Angeles-bound Metrolink train crashed, injuring 28 people Tuesday morning in Ventura County. There was a large fire after the collision where the ch when the train barreled into a tractor-trailer truck that was parked along the tracks. According to fire officials, the driver of the truck attempted to flee from the scene, but was apprehended by police. The tracks are closed indefinitely with repair work scheduled for Wednesday morning. After Alaska became the third state to legalize recreational marijuana earlier this week, the USA Today now reports that Washington, D.C. residents can now legally use marijuana as well. The new law stipulates that people over 21 can possess as two ounces or less of marijuana, share one ounce or less with another person of age, or cultivate no more than six plants on private property. The boys in blue will start to defend their unexpected American League championship season this in a few days. The Kansas City Royals came together as a full team for the first time yesterday in Surprise, Arizona. According to the Kansas City Star, the practice lasted about two hours, but the players are ready to get started in full swing. Thatcher School in Kansas City is 115 years old, but its close is closing is now on the table. The Kansas City School Board is split and debate last night lasted for more than an hour. Supporters believe getting rid of the school would give more outdoor space and athletic fields to the neighboring school, Northeast Middle School. With the Lawrence School Board election primary coming up next week, the Lawrence Journal World has released a full list of candidates with profiles about each person. There are four candidates for the two-year term and seven candidates for the four-year term. The four-year candidates will not be a part of primary election and will just be in the general election in April. This year's National Expo was yesterday in the Student Union. Students and staff filled the fourth floor lobby and collected plenty of information outreach coordinator Mackenzie Jones filled us. So this is the International Expo. We have um, various um, area study centers, academic units, student groups, and other international programming that is offered at KU all in one space. Uh, so students can come here all afternoon and um, explore their different resources for international study. Yeah. Students also saw various performance in eight different types of food types of international foods. It was open to all students to come and learn about different cultures and clubs around campus. In sports news, the men's basketball team has dropped three of its last six games and only holds a one-game lead for first place in the Big 12. On Monday, the Jayhawks lost to the Kansas State Wildcats in Manhattan. Bruce Weber and the Wildcats were looking for their first consecutive wins at home versus Kansas for the first time since the 1983 season. Looking to stop that, though, was Kelly Oubre, who gets a tough putback basket right here to bring the Jayhawks within two points. Oubre finished with 14 points and seven boards. Three minutes to go now, Wesley and Wundu gets a tough runner to go, putting the Wildcats back up by five. Now, Jayhawks did not stop fighting until the very end. As you see, Brandon Green get an easy layup, bringing it within three. But at the end, Nino Williams with an uncontested jumper, putting it up. Frank Mason with a one last chance to get the Jayhawks to go back up. It does not go. Frank Mason had a tough time shooting the ball. He was only one of eight from the floor which resulted in the Wildcats fans, of course, storming the court. The Jayhawks lost 70-63, to and Perry Ellis had a good game for the Jayhawks as he had about 27 points and uh, 9 rebounds, but uh, just wasn't enough. After the game, though, uh, after the game, Kansas State uh, fan rushed the court. After the game, an incident did occur in which a Kansas State fan who rushed the floor targeted Kansas forward Jamari Trailer and shouldered him as he walked off the court. The Kansas State Police Department has asked for help identifying the fan on Twitter, who has since come forward. Nathan Power was charged with disorderly conduct, and the Kansas State Athletic Director has apologized for the incident. The Kansas women's team also took on the Kansas State Wildcats on Wednesday night in Allen Fieldhouse, and the result was similar. Kansas State handed the Lady Jayhawks their sixth loss in a row, dropping them to 13-16 and 16 on the season. Chelsea Gardner still managed to put up 15 points and 15 rebounds in the 55-48 loss. KU next takes on a tough Oklahoma team in Norman. The 14-1 Kansas softball team is now in the polls for the first time since 2011 at number 25 in the country. The only loss this season for the Jayhawks was given by the number one Florida Gators. KU has outscored their opponents 108-42 through the first 15 games this season. Pitcher Alicia Pill recorded a no-hitter earlier in the season against Penn State. Jayhawks will take on five opponents this weekend in the UNF home tournament starting with Stony Brook and South Dakota on Friday. Finally, the Big 12 Indoor Track and Field Championships will begin tomorrow in Ames, Iowa. Senior Michael Stigler will look to continue his dominating season in the hurdles, and Jacob Morgan will look to improve on his school record time in the 5,000 meters. The women's track team has been dominant in the Big 12 lately and will be looking to finish as a top three finisher for the third year in a row. That will do it for today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great Thursday.
Yeah.